there, sign of Pisces. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the weekly, February 20th through the 26th. Um, I thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, and subscriptions. If you have not subscribed, please do, and you'll be notified of the future readings to come. So, uh, Pisces, let's bring in your angels, your spirit guides, the divine white light to surround us and guide this reading towards Pisces' highest good only. We're going to start with the archetype deck, a few more oracles after that, and then the tarot past, present, and future with tea leaves at the end. Let's get started. So, Pisces, what's going on for Pisces? Last reading was pretty good, Pisces, so hopefully we keep up that trend. Two cards, the stone and the sustainer. Two cards that really, really relate to each other. So, the stone. Similar to the sustainer. We even have what looks like to be molding a stone. <laughs> or something similar to it. The stone is the foundation. Like a rock, this might be representing you or your family structure. It is been. It has been through many storms and uh, the stone is really unique in the sense that the more storms it goes through, uh, the more that it gets smoothed out and rounded. So, there's a lot of um, neat similarities in the stone and having a really solid, good foundation. And I think that you're the one that really keeps this up, maybe in your family or your own life. You're the one that puts the glue that holds things together, that creates the stone and that keeps it going. That, you know, the stone is reliable and constant. Really doesn't change that much. And that would be the sustainer energy too someone who uh, is able to keep it together for the sake of themselves and their family. So it's really, that's a great, it's a great combination to get. They really make sense together. So let's do the spell casting deck for you. Pisces, already leading up to a good start. Whoop. One more. <laughs> Two. So we have healing, a big theme for everybody that week or the week to come. Blessings. Nice. Nice. So these blessings that come in for you might have to do with a healing. It may have to do with the ability to sustain the light in you in the sense that uh, this blessing may come really not even warranted. It's just something that's going to be magical in your life coming about. And the healing, this could be on an emotional or a physical level for you. You take it how it resonates. It might also be talking about healing the foundation, healing the things that build us up in our family or ourselves. All right, let's move on to the Guardian Angel deck. Let's get one card from that for Pisces. See what we get. Angel of Success. Nice. Angel of Success coming in. And that might be part of your blessing. You may really be needing this success. And this blessing comes in to ensure it for you. That's kind of what I see. And then 3 plus 1 is 4, which is the foundation. So very much in line with your... Your messages are very much in alignment together with each other. So they're making sense to me, in other words. Um, let's get the Thoth, Thoth and the Rider Waite combined deck maybe said that wrong this is the urban tarot it's by robin scott and it has city scenes it's based on the thoth and the rider weight so some of the names are changed like the court cards um prince is king to me and then um princess is page queen and then you have the knights so it's a little bit different and then some of the major arcana 
names are changed to. All right, Pisces, we're gonna do past to future, past in the left, far left, future, far right, and then anything in between leading from present to future, from past to present is up to you. You place them on your timeline as to how that relates to you. So let's get started. Urban Tarot for Pisces. Give us messages for the week of the 20th through the 26th. Nice, we have the chariot on the bottom. This is his vehicle to success, victory, just like your success card. Wow. All right, so past, far past. The day trader, prince of disc. This is like the king of pentacles. This may be you. This is somebody that's really reliable. Someone who, um, you know, keeps the news in a good positive vibe that money is coming and stability and things like that for the family and themselves. Then we have the mage, which is kind of like all elements that are combined to help you get something, to help you manifest your success. This is like the magician card leading into the present and it might still be the past to you it just depends the ace of wands wow we have some really powerful all about you cards all about your success and your independence with the ones uh, the ace of wands is that spark of inspiration what you do with it probably the two of wands focus and making it a success then we have the princess of disc this is news coming in, a message about your pentacles, something that's gonna make you very happy. So, and they have the kindergarten teacher, which is somebody who's, even though this news makes them happy at the end of the day, they know that they worked really hard to make this happen. And then the star, oh my goodness. And then we have the star, meaning your dreams and your hopes and your desires are being worked on and ultimate future. Look at that, 10 of cups. You come to a completion where your needs were met, family's needs are met. You have now reached that complete high of emotional fulfillment and physical fulfillment. It's beautiful. This is such a good spread. You really have the best spread from all of the signs. So Pisces, what I would do to be a Pisces. All right. Let's see, tea leaves for you. Bag, something important, such as a new job or race. Weeping willow, family sorrow. So we might be healing over that. That might be why that card healing is out. All right, coins, money will be coming to you. Definitely news of money coming to you for sure. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And one more teardrops, great personal sorrow, still something that I think is relating to this family sorrow of healing. It's something that's healing. All right. Thank you so much, Pisces. Sending you all a lot of love and light. Join me for your next reading.